Taxi. No driver? Time to karaoke. Hello world, it's Siraj, and let's learn how Tesla Autopilot works by building a simple version of it in a web browser with Node.js and PyTorch. I've been lucky enough to get to experience it myself, and it's unbelievable just how good it is. RoboTaxi services exist today. I recently booked my first cruise ride in San Francisco, and it was lit. I especially liked how in any scenario, if I absolutely needed a human driver, I could just tap a button and a human operator would be called to pilot the car remotely. So the race is on and companies globally like Google, Qualcomm, Audi, and Hyundai are hiring data scientists and machine learning engineers to build these AI systems. Let's set up our own self-driving car simulator in a browser with just a few clicks. We'll first go to the GitHub repository labeled Tesla Simulator and click on code code spaces, then we'll launch an online code execution environment right in our web browser. This gives us an online Linux terminal to type commands into. We'll only need to type in two commands, npm install force to install all the dependencies on this cloud instance, and then npm start. This will start the simulator remotely, which we can go to by clicking on the pop-up link. Once inside the simulator folder, we'll click on self-driving to see the simulated environment. Now we can have two windows, one for our code and one for the simulator. I got 99 problems, but installation ain't one. The GitHub user Jan Umerman developed this to demonstrate his JavaScript deep learning library called Neuro.js, which is itself built on Andre Karpathy's ConvNet.js. We can draw simple obstacles with our mouse in the environment and let the cars start driving immediately or train them from scratch. They are currently trained to maximize their reward, which is the speed of the car without any collisions using deep learning. We'll use this project as a starting point to implement our own custom algorithms. We can create an empty environment and a single car with controls for us to drive ourselves. Now we need to give the car two abilities, the ability to see, called computer vision, and the ability to drive, called path planning, in that order. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm deep learning. We could just train a single neural network to learn both of these abilities. And in fact, in 2016, NVIDIA did just that in their paper titled End-to-End -End Deep Learning for Self-Driving Cars. In that paper, they described a system that used a neural network, just one, to learn the mapping between the input data, which were the raw pixels from a front-facing camera from a real car, and the steering commands of the human driver as output. This was a convolutional neural network invented by the GOAT, Jan LeCou. These were considered state-of-the-art in analyzing visual data since each layer extracted and learned the spatial hierarchies of features from the input data, which made it effective for image and video recognition tasks. I have a detailed video on that I'll link you to. So a simple way for us to train our car to drive would be to go back and add a single distance sensor to our car that acts like a camera and then train a single convolutional neural network to learn from our driving behavior, just like they did in the 2016 paper. But the field has progressed immensely since 2016 and modern self-driving cars like Tesla Autopilot don't mm. use convolutional neural networks. They instead use transformer networks to see the world and reinforcement learning to drive in it. Specifically, Tesla uses two vision transformer networks to see and one to drive. An occupancy network predicts whether or not a point in 3D space is occupied or not. And an object detection network predicts what that occupied object is, be it a lane, dog, or pedestrian. Together, the predictions from these networks produce a 3D vector space that shows the directions of all objects using a technique called neural radiance fields. From this, the path planning network decides how to drive. To train these networks, they augment real world data from their fleet of millions of cars with simulated data. They build integrated maps from all that camera data in simulation that can then be modified for different climates on the same paths. 
It also allows them to program in unrealistic edge cases to improve generalization ability. While most camera data is automatically labeled using their occupancy and object detection networks, for any mislabeled cases, a human manually labels it, like a moving car wrongly labeled as part. Vision transformer networks were first introduced by Google in 2020 in the paper An Image is Worth 16 by 16 Words. They modified the idea of a transformer network from 2017 for vision tasks exclusively. Transformers introduced significant parallelization and optimization capability by replacing convolution and recurrent layers with self-attention layers. This allowed the network to learn the relationship between different elements in the input data. Who needs pixels and who needs shapes? I need context attention makes. Vision transforms every place. Weighted average in my face. While convolutional networks operated on a fixed size window and had trouble capturing relations at the pixel level in both spatial and time domains, vision transformers represented images as sequences, and class labels for the images are predicted, which allows models to learn image structure independently. Google said that their hybrid vision transformer outperformed the state-of-the-art convolutional network with four times less computational resources when trained on enough data, which is why Tesla uses them for computer vision nowadays. In the early days, lanes in particular were detected using simple image segmentation networks, but with vision transformers. Tesla vehicles can predict an entire interconnected lane graph, predicting not just the next word in the sentence, but the next lane line on a road. They call it reading the language of lanes. Since there are currently no vision transformer implementations in JavaScript, after adding eight cameras to our car, we can just place a simple PyTorch implementation in our repository and later convert it to JavaScript using Onyx, the open neural network exchange for model interoperability. Do you have plans to make PyTorch.js? Senator, I don't know. At any given intersection, drivers are subconsciously predicting where each object, be it a car or pedestrian in the scene, will move to. And a self-driving car must do this as well in under 10 milliseconds for safety. This can be considered a multi-agent joint trajectory optimization problem, or MAGTO. No, that acronym doesn't work. We can compute all the possible paths, but that would be way too expensive. Tesla instead uses a neural network guided tree search to only compute the most probable movements. This parallelized tree search starts with a set of vision measurements, namely lanes, occupancy, and moving objects. From this, they create a set of goal candidates for lanes and unstructured regions. Then they initialize seed trajectories. At each layer of the tree search, the car has more constraints into what its possible interaction space could be. They score each trajectory based on a few variables like collision checks and intervention likelihood and eventually converge on one optimal path. This deep reinforcement learning technique is similar to DeepMind's AlphaGo, which beat the human champion. So if anyone tells you DeepRL is never used in the real world, tell them they're wrong. So let's go back to our simple project. Like Tesla, we can add other cars to optimize jointly using reinforcement learning. The default setting in the sample project is that it uses a deep reinforcement learning technique called actor critic to learn. This uses two separate neural networks to learn a task. The actor network is responsible for choosing the actions to take in a given situation, while the critic network is responsible for evaluating the quality of those actions and providing feedback to the actor network. I've got a great video on actor critic techniques that I'll link you to. We'll replace it with a deep Q learning algorithm, which learns the Q or quality of a given action through trial and error. After training, our car will be able to drive without collisions. It's not quite exactly a replica of Tesla's data pipeline, but definitely a great, easy starting point to learn from. There are three things to remember from this video. Tesla uses cameras, computer vision, and path planning algorithms to drive. For computer vision, they use vision transformers, one to predict occupancy and one to predict objects. And for path planning, they use a transformer guided tree search to compute a multi-agent joint trajectory optimization problem. The coding challenge for this week is to modify the current neural network in some way, maybe add a layer or remove a layer 
on a custom track you create and have it still learn to avoid collisions. Bonus points for creative tracks. I'll announce the winner next week. I'm doing weekly videos again, full-time wizards. Please submit your GitHub link in the comment section. I can't wait to see your submissions. For now, I've got to write deep learning raps. So thanks for watching.